In today's Stories of Service, I want to wish a happy birthday to Jesse Dunbar. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. 99 years old, can you believe it? She looks great and has a beautiful spirit. So why am I featuring her in today's Stories of Service? Well, she's a World War II veteran. Take a look at her uniform. She still has it and it is in great condition. She served in the United States Navy as a WAVE in the 1940s. WAVE stands for Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service. We were just like the men, believe it or not. I mean, we had to go and stand at attention, a whole line of us, you know, um, for inspection. And when that happened, I used to faint because I was in the sun and it just bothered me terribly, standing there waiting for inspection. So. What did she do? Mrs. Dunbar repaired aircraft instruments for the fighter planes. I'll let her tell you about it. You had to take them apart and clean them and put them all together again. The gas, oil, and altimeters, you know? And it wasn't very easy at all. It wasn't easy. But I became very proficient in it. I knew how to do it well, and I taught some officers how to do it. And if the last name Dunbar sounds familiar to you... This is Television 12 News. Sports with Walt Dunbar. Los Angeles coach Danny Ozark was a surprise choice of Phil's general manager, Paul Owens. Walt Dunbar is her late husband. He was one of the first sports directors for Channel 12 in the 1950s. He too was in the Navy. That's where they met. He passed away in 1986. Thank you, Mrs. Dunbar, for your service to our country, and I can't wait to celebrate your 100th birthday. Remember, if you have a story of service to share, just email us at storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com. Once again, that's storiesofservice at firstcoastnews.com.